Good morning, motherfuckers. Good evening. Good day. Wherever you guys are watching this, thanks a lot for tuning in. Bears G here with my boy James. We are back out here at San Diego Bay, 4.30 a.m. Harbor Island. The bite yesterday was phenomenal. Well, to me it was <laughs> for coming back in, what, what a month? Yeah. Little, little under a month. Top water bite was great. Mackerel, good times. So we decided to come out a whole lot earlier, three hours earlier, and maybe get a top water Corvina and try out this new jerk bait I got from a good friend of mine's. Again, Hook to Cook. Shout out to Edward for um, plugging me up with some new jerk baits. This is the Kalisa. This is what I'll be throwing. This is the nuclear pink. It actually glows in the dark. Let me see if I, uh, I can get it on camera. So you, all you do is give it some light. And let me turn off the light real quick. Boom. Check that out. Nice. Glow in the dark. Hopefully the camera picks it up, but yep that is what i'll be throwing and uh we'll test our luck out here but again if you guys are sitting at home you guys are bored i hope my videos are helping you guys get through this pandemic this quarantine or stay at home order thing we're all dealing with but we did have some good news we don't know if it's accurate or not we're apparently allowed to fish the beaches maybe the shoreline i don't know so we're out here we're testing the water and if we get told to leave then we'll leave if you give them a hard time they're going to give you a harder time so yep. keep that in mind all right you're not always right they're not always right but there's no reason to argue but enough of that i'm gonna throw this glow in the dark drink bait kalisa minnow i'm gonna give james this one to throw right here and um i'll be throwing the glow in the dark sardine it's gonna be the sardine glow so here you go man nice give it a try actually that's a brand new color is it they sent me they actually sent me four i think four or three and somebody opened up my mail and took one or two out of it oh no yeah it sucks oh so. man yep whatever it is what it is porch pirates <laughs> right we're gonna give it a shot so you guys stay tuned and hopefully we catch something cool out here maybe some more mackerel i did bring my macro cooler so this time i don't have to go up and down bag it i'm bringing a little cooler down with me and uh we'll try to catch some fish so let's get to fishing let's go all right so here it is this is the sardine glow also glows in the dark. Let's see if I can get that on camera. Yeah, a little bit. A little glow. I mean, I could see it. Maybe not the camera, but... Yeah. But we are not going to start off with that. You guys already know the drill. First thing we always throw is top water. Test our luck with that. Oh, this marine layer ain't no joke, dude. With this light on, you can I can feel the fog or the mist in my face. Extremely low tide right now. I think we're gonna be fishing an incoming tide once the sun starts coming up. Might have to try drink bait, huh? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can get this glow on camera. So I'm using the Kalisa Sardine Glow. I'm giving it some uh, some light right now. Charge it up real quick. I'm gonna turn off my headlamp. Boom, look at that. Glow in the dark. Oh, there you go. I don't know what it is, probably a Mac. First fish of the morning on the Kalisa mackerel yeah all right I know it's kind of dark but we're headed over to the right side of Harbor Island I believe north or west side right west side. yeah the west side of Harbor and we're gonna walk towards uh, Tom Ham's lighthouse, but on the shoreline still. We're gonna give it a shot over there and hopefully something bites. I mean, I caught one, that's something. First fish ever on the Kalisa. Maybe try to get some more this year on that bait. But yeah, I mean, that marine layer ain't no joke. That thing is dark it's as hell. Thick. <laughs> it, is thick. it is thick and we can't even see with our headlamps and or anything like that. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. 
that fog alarm was giving me a headache though. Oh yeah. That thing was loud. But yeah, we're gonna head over there and hopefully catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned in. Maybe catch nothing, maybe catch something. Big or small, we're gonna try and catch them all. I don't give yep. a damn what it is. Yep. So yeah, let's go. I'm already hearing tons of boils. This marine layer is getting thicker and thicker. I haven't fished this end of Harbor Island in a long time. That's one for the cooler. Switching over to the top water real quick and see if anything's out there. Yeah, keep talking shit. <laughs> oh, right there. Got him. Oh, came off. Mother sucker. Oh, oh, he came. Oh, you're getting bit. And the seal came. He heard me. The seal heard me talking shit. Oh, right there. Alright guys, James throwing the para worm grub. I'm throwing the para worm shad with the custom underspin. Whoa, Dang. Oh, bad cast. There we go. First body in the morning for me. First body in a month for me. Look at that thing. Damn. What was that? He got something. Really? Yeah. Y'all doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> James doubled up with the seal. Seal's open to tearing something up. Oh. Oh, looking at the seal. Yeah, he got something pretty big. It's funny, we just seen him too. We just seen him cruise by and he's like, oh, got him coach. All right, we are going to make a move back towards the east end. Water is starting to move. Want to aim for a little more open water. Because we're pretty blocked off to the right over here due to that. So open water, better chance of top water. We'll see. You still trying to get your top water fish? Ooh, what's up? Well, 
spot number three. <laughs> We're still at Harbor Island. Second spot was okay. I mean, I got my top water. Got the skunk off the board. He got the skunk and he got a damn stingray again on the grub. He doubled up with a seal, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, we're over here on the east end. Well, kind of. I mean, the main light is literally right there where you guys come in from Harbor Island. You guys make a left or a right. It's one way in, one way out here at Harbor Island. But yeah, we're back over here. We're probably going to fish for a little longer. Uh, James still trying to get his topwater bite. I'm just fishing for anything, really. Hopefully get like some more macro. Maybe. We'll see. So yeah. Oh, there's already boils going on out there. Good sign. So we're throwing the Major Crab Paraworm Shad and the Major Crab Paraworm Grub along with the I'm a Skimmer and the Kalisa Jerkbait. So we're gonna keep trying and trying and trying to hopefully maybe hook up something big, something small. It doesn't really matter, right? Nope. Nope. All right, so the roads are still empty, guys. It's quiet. It's Sunday morning and usually it's packed out here already with people jogging and working out and doing their thing. But there are bikers out here and there's plenty of parking. So far, no law enforcement yet, but knock on wood on that. And hopefully, uh, we end the day on a good note. So stay tuned and let's go. <laughs> These uh, Cali covers are pretty legit. I mean, I fit two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 baits in here. No tango so far. I mean, it's pretty cool. Hassle free. Hassle free. I like how they fit too and then sit upright. Yep. And they're clear, so you can see what it is. I mean, you have to push it down, but yeah. ain't nothing stay perfect in fishing, bro. Yeah. All right, let's see if we get a topwater strike. Ooh, right there. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dude, I had followers too. Hey, hey, hey. you too? Yeah. Hey, hey, go away. Y'all not from here, are you? <laughs> Your first cast had like two followers. Oh shoot, I went right over you. It's all good, you're good. All right, let's see who gets hit first. Oh, me. I'm on. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, double. Double top. <laughs> get caught on the move. We gotta hurry up, get them in the cooler, come back out. Yeah, I forgot to bring the cooler down. Got him. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, no. Oh, no, damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, something swirled behind mine. I don't think it was a macro. Saw the dorsal come up. Oh, right there. Just eat it. Oh, just boil to the left. I think when they realize it's a white bait, they don't want to hit it no more. There you go. I'm on. <laughs> there you go. It was, it was more wild than yesterday. Oh yeah. And then yesterday, because we had a 
later start yesterday too. Yeah, we started like around this time. Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come back. Come, come get it. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, dude, I was talking to you. <laughs> I turned around. There's a good one. It's a good one. Dude, he's peeling. What is it, dude? It's a Corvina. No way. It's a Corvina. First short fin Corvina of the year. Woohoo! First top water Corvina of the year, guys. Hold on, I wanna grab him. Taco grab. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go, guys. First short fin Corvina of the year. Not a monster, but man, look at them fangs. All right, man. We're gonna get the release on this guy. Woo! Dude, I knew off the bat, man. Right off the bat, when he started peeling, yeah. I already knew it was a Corvina. He hit on the dead stick, too. Did he? Oh, yeah. that's right, he did. Right. I've seen that. Let's hope he makes it. Oh, then he took off. He was gone. <laughs> Woo! Fast Corvina! of the year i'm happy top water corvina i will take it all day every day <laughs> all right uh well my gloves are disgusting now i'm gonna take these off and back to fishing we go right james oh yeah let's go morning what do you think yeah? Oh, yeah it was good dude easy like over 20 fish oh, yeah. a lot of max a uh, little bit of spotties here and there and what topped it off was the corvina i'm super stoked on my first top water corvina of 2020 and yesterday james got his first halibut of 2020 yep so two days in a row i mean we topped it off with a corvina and a halibut We'll take it. We'll take it all day, every day. It doesn't even matter if it's a giant. Or, well, if it's a giant, it doesn't matter. It does, yeah. It, it but be more stoked, <laughs> right? Yeah, but we uh, we succeeded. We came out. We fished. We caught fish. <laughs> yeah. You guys always wonder what kind of rod and reel I'm using for to throw what I'm throwing is this here. Well, here's my reel. This is the Daiwa Coastal SV. The seven gear ratio. I have three of them, so, well, I have four of them actually, and I use them all in the bay. This is my all around reel, strictly only for the bay. And the rod I have it on is the Majorcraft MS1. This one is a seven foot medium heavy. This is a finesse rod. It's rated from 316th to 5 8 ounce. So it's good for like Lucky Crabs, Kalisa, anything like that, any top water, any jerk baits, any swim baits really. This combo right here, it does everything, does it all. So light finesse, well, kind of a little heavier finesse, up to jig power spins, irons, and all that stuff. You guys saw it, I was throwing the Micro Slim, which is 10 grams. So that's equivalent to 3 8 ounce, and this rod is rated 3 16 to 5 8 ounce. So that's what I caught most of my fish on, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. yeah. And my other rod is my lighter combo, which is another, Daiwa SV. This is the Coastal SV. Also, same gear ratio. In Lefty, they only make it a one gear ratio, which is the 7.1 to one gear ratio. Daiwa Coastal SV. And everyone asks, what do you think about the reel? Should I do a review on it, this and that? Honestly, guys, there's a reason why I have four of them. <laughs> that, that should already explain it. I opened up these reels, I customized them, I added the blue parts to all of them. So they all look identical, besides the handle. The heavier my rods go, the bigger the handles go but um, 
I got into the reel and I noticed the drag plate that covers your carbon text drag or whatever kind of drag system you have is uh is gasket it has a gasket around that so in that gear stays dry and stays greased up well not dry it stays dry from the outside water coming in like the salt and all that stuff from fishing so uh, do i recommend this reel well yeah i got four of them <laughs> come on man if i can have my, all my combos coastals sbs i would but i got technique specifics for other different type of reels which i'll probably explain in another video but this is my lighter combo this is my lightest coastal sb combo which is the seven foot medium this is a jerk bait rod also major craft ms1 good rod i mean i recommend it holds up pretty damn well i mean i caught plenty of fish on them and i got a whole lineup of them but that pretty much sums up what i was using for my top water jerk bait everything all around it just depends on what i feel like throwing for the day and it really depends on what they want to bite. So honestly, it, it's really up to you uh, what kind of setup you want, what kind of rods and reels you want to throw. But if you guys want a recommendation, I recommend that. It's kind of pricey. The reel's about 260, 250 out the door. The rod's about what, 189, 200, depending on the length and action and taper and all that stuff. But yeah, dude, like we came out, we caught a shit ton of macro. It's the most macro we've caught in a long time. Let oh, me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> me that <laughs> show show man. show show what we're working with i know people hate it when i fish for mac people hate it when i post pictures of mac and videos of mac i really don't give a damn i'm out here having a great time great company like i mentioned earlier in this video fishing is fishing not every day i'm gonna catch a damn giant i mean everyone like guys that swear they catch only giants i know damn well they go through a handful of dinks random fish they don't want to catch by catch a shit ton of max to catch that monster just like what we did this morning like 20 max and finally a corvina yeah. Yeah. and barracuda showed up so five species it's stingray spotty macro that ray that, the i did say stingray oh, yeah, <laughs> i suppose yeah stingray spotty barracuda macro and corvina five species pretty damned up i mean yesterday was five too right yeah it was the lizard fish the lizard fish topped it yeah five. yeah the lizard fish spotty mac halibut halibut and uh barracuda. barracuda barracuda so look at that crime, crime scene, scene. <laughs> this is enough for bait and of course i'm gonna give a lot to my mom to eat she loves eating mackerel a lot of people eat mackerel if you're from hawaii you know damn well saba all day mm -hmm. japan saba all day horse mac pacific mac i mean they're edible you just gotta know how to cook them but if you guys want to see a catch and cook let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions comment below be sure to drop a thumbs up give this video a like subscribe and uh what else is there to say oh yeah dude out here um one more thing we were kind of skeptical when we saw harbor patrol but he looked at us waved and just drove off like i don't know if it's good to it's fish it's not it's not a sign to saying yeah it's open so i mean uh, i i don't know, know if they I do mean, stop you then yeah but um people are showing up we counted maybe 10 bodies out here fishing. Yeah. Another guy showed up in front of us, started fishing. But I don't know, don't take my word for it. But if it's open, it's open. Go out there, get your lines wet, catch some damn fish, have some fun, be responsible and be safe. Yes. All right, enough of that. I'm gonna close it out right there. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Everything I use in this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check that out, drop a comment. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. As always, good fishing and peace the hell out.